hi welcome to my channel this is title sojo on this channel we share information on university admissions uh, scholarships opportunity for international students and also other opportunities to enhance your career and professional development if you are new to this channel and this is the kind of information you like to receive on a time to time basis please kindly hit the subscribe button and share uh, this video like and uh, leave a comment to help this channel to grow uh, please for returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back to this channel in this particular video i'll be sharing with you in this particular video i'll be sharing with you a university in the u.s that gives scholarship opportunities for international students so wherever you are from uh, the part of the world this particular university have you covered especially if you are applying to an undergraduate program so i'll be sharing with you uh, those scholarships available at this university uh, how to apply uh, the deadline and other information you need to know so let's get into the video st is st louis university so St. Louis University is a private Jesuit research university with campuses in St. Louis, Missouri, United States, and Madrid, Spain. It was founded in 1818 by Louis William Valentine de Burg. It is the oldest university west of Mississippi River and the second oldest Jesuit university in the United States. The university is accredited by the Higher Learning Commission. In 2022-2023 academic year, who has widely called had an enrollment of 13,546 students. The student body included 8,437 undergraduate students, 5,109 graduate students that represent all 50 states and 82 countries so that means that students from all over the u.s and about 82 countries attend this particular university so this gives you a sense of the kind of university this is uh it's uh, welcome everyone from around the world so more than 50 years the university has maintained a campus in madrid spain so they don't only have uh campus in the u.s they also have in <coughs> into uh, their major programs and also the scholarship opportunities major so major and programs so uh, let's look at those kind of programs that are available especially when we look at uh, the undergraduate studies so on this particular page uh, you have all the results uh, the program list uh, so, so we'll be focusing more on the bachelor's degree so selecting bachelor's degree on the left hand side of the page is going to help filter uh, the the uh, programs that's going to show up on this particular page so now we have a uh, bachelor's degree programs not just undergraduate minors but just uh, the bachelor's degree programs uh, here you have courses like accounting aeronautics aerospace engineering african american studies american studies you have uh, american studies um, analytics anthropology you have athletic training biochemistry art history you have bioethics and ed studies you have biology you have uh, so many other programs here um, like i see biomedical engineering biostatistics we have biostatistics or uh, also depending on the specialty if you are specializing in health analytics uh, there's also business technology management there's um, chemistry biology and pharmacology uh, there's a wide range of uh, courses in this particular university so if you are in management if you want to specialize in management uh computer uh pure sciences this university have a lot of courses in those areas so 
I will leave the link uh, to this particular page in the description of this video because we are focusing mainly on undergraduate as as a result of the fact that uh, scholarships that we'll be looking at uh, are for undergraduate uh, students. So we'll be focusing more on undergraduate programs. So uh, you can check this particular page for other programs and as I can see the data science, they have cyber security. So they have a lot of courses that you want to you want to probably check out on this particular page. I will leave the link to this page in the description of the video. So let's uh, take a look at the scholarships available at this university. So on this particular page, uh, we have um, undergraduate scholarships um, and how you can apply to those undergraduate scholarships. So um, St. Louis over St. Louis University offers undergraduate scholarships that are recognized among other areas academic accomplishment service involvement and leadership capability so pay attention to those three core areas academic accomplishment service involvement and leadership capability so those are the core areas they are looking at for you to be eligible or for them to be able to award you uh undergraduate scholarships so depending on your major there are many, depending on your major, there may be additional scholarship opportunities offered by your program or department. So, what they're saying in essence here is that there's no limited opportunities. You can get opportunities from different departments depending on uh, where you are majoring at or, my, or your minors, depending on your specialization. So, you can get scholarships depending on which department you are focusing on or from also the school as a whole. So you are not limited to the number of scholarships you can have. Scholarships awarded at the beginning of your first term and are generally automatically renewed each year, provided you maintain the required GPA and have not exceeded the maximum number of terms offered. Unless otherwise noted, scholarships are designated for fall or spring terms only. So you can't get scholarship for summer semesters. So it's only for fall and spring. With uh, the affordability commitment, all undergraduate scholarships at SIU are renewable for up to 10 semesters. So this makes sense. So 10 semesters means that that covered the whole of undergraduate programs because most of undergraduate programs are like four years, right? So, also please note, SLU medical and law schools along with the fifth year of SLU physical therapy and occupational therapy programs are graduate level and not included in the affordability commitment. So note that, especially for those who will be applying to medical school or law school scholarships. So you, all prospective students are to complete their online application for freshman admission. So by December, by December 1st. By doing so, you are automatically considered for SLU merit-based scholarships. So no separate application is required. So that means that once you apply to a program, by december 1st you automatically considered for merit-based scholarships so let's look at the merit-based scholarships so and by implication it means that um if you if you submit your application after december 1st you will not be considered so let's look at um, the merit-based scholarships the first one we have the vice president scholarship that's uh, twelve thousand five hundred dollars and above. That's a uh, per semester. So it means that you can have twelve thousand five hundred and above for each semester up to ten semester. And the A requirement is minimum A. And the next merit based scholarship is the university scholarship. That's eleven thousand dollars. 
the minimum GPA, the GPA for that is minimum B. Then there's the Ignatian Scholarship, that's the Billy Ken Award. That's between $5,000 to $7,000 award per semester up to third semester. The GPA is minimum B. Mine will automatically renew based upon full-time enrollment over 10 consecutive semesters and maintenance of the required 2-point GPA. So, for a scholarship to be renewed, you must maintain this particular uh, GPA that is required. So, automatically, it renews up to the end of your study at SLU. So, um, check out the application instruction uh, for this particular scholarship and then the link uh, to apply for admission at this university is on this particular page. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the link to this page will be in the description of this video. Uh, there are also other scholarships. For instance, if you are from China, there's the Gakao scholarships. Uh, check out uh, that particular scholarship if you are from China. There are also other particular scholarships. Uh, some of them are very competitive. For instance, like the presidential scholarship. The requirement for this is a GPA of 3.85 or higher. So that means it's very competitive. Uh, uh, said this is for exemplary student leaders. Uh, this particular competitive scholarship covers full course of tuition for 10 consecutive semesters, full time semesters, right? So, and again, it's for fall or spring semester. Summer semesters are now covered. So, look at uh, this particular um, page for application instruction. Um, also, for this uh, presidential scholarship application, there's a separate application document or form that needs to be filled for that. So it's different from those merit-based scholarships. Uh, so, and also there's a let two letters of recommendation, your resume, then the scholarship essay. So, particular page, there are uh, tips on how to go about those scholarship essay, what is required. So, and then additional notes on that. So, so the next other scholarship is the Martin Luther King Junior Scholarship. So um, this scholarship is an academic award offered to students who have demonstrated leadership as agent of change or influence within their school or community activities. So you must have shown some leadership skills and also community service. So freshman student, these are the eligibility criteria for this particular scholarship. Cumulative high school GPA of 3.25 or higher. So this is less competitive compared to the presidential award. Um, so the instruction for transfer students, those uh, may be transferring credits and all that. So do well if you are in that situation to check out this. Amount award, um, this King Scholarship has an award value of at least 3000 per year. This is not as much as uh, those other scholarship. Um, on average, Martin Luther King Scholar received a $24,000 in scholarship and aid per year from university. So it's interesting. Instructions around the application. Uh, there's a separate um, application form that needs to be submitted as well. And uh, the deadline for this also stated. Also, there's a deadline. Deadline for this also stated on this particular page. Um, then also topics for the scholarship essays is also in this particular page. So there are other scholarships that are for transfer students. Uh, transferring credits and all that so do well to check out each of them on this particular page uh, if you meet uh, any of those criteria and then there are other scholarships that are available uh, private scholarships also are available but those ones that we've taken a look at are the major ones are the uh, major ones that's going to cover your tuitions and all 
right um, the merit based uh, scholarships the presidential scholarship those are the most important scholarships that you need to uh, pay attention to and you can also check those other scholarships that are also available uh, so this is all i'll be bringing to you on this particular video uh, the link to this particular page will be in the description of this video if you are new to this channel and you like the, this kind of information please kindly subscribe to our channel leave a comment please share like and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be prompted when a video like this is being uploaded thank you so much for your time and i'll see you in the next video